Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this exercise we're going to be manually labeling an object in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll add labels to specific areas on an alignment after it's been created and automatically labeled. This exercise continues from adding labels in groups. So let's start labeling multiple alignment segments. Note this exercise uses the labels dash 2a drawing with the modifications you made in the previous exercise. Let's start by clicking on the annotate tab and then move over to your labels and tables panel. Click this little drop down right here then go to alignment then add alignment labels. In the Add Labels dialog box, specify the following parameters. For the feature, we're going to leave it on Alignment. For the label type, we're going to select Multiple Segment. Now we have three label style fields. We're going to go ahead and accept the defaults. You can choose specific styles for each of the line, curve, and spiral label styles but this alignment does not contain any spirals so the spiral label style setting is ignored. Go ahead and click Add. I'm going to move this dialog box off to the side. Then on the left hand side of the site we have our West Street alignment which you created in the Adding Labels in Groups exercise. Go ahead and click the West Street alignment. The multiple segment label command places a label in the middle, as you can see right in here, of each line and curve. This method can be convenient, but as you can see sometimes a few of the labels overlap other features of the drawing. In the selecting and moving labels exercise, you'll move some of these labels. Let's go about labeling single alignment segments. Go ahead and go up to your Annotate tab, then click on the Add Labels button. Now that we're in the Add Labels dialog box, specify the following parameters. For Feature, go ahead and select Alignment. For Label Type, select Single Segment. Lastly, for the Line and Label Style, select alignment name. Go ahead and click Add. You're now ready to choose a specific location for a label on the alignment. Unlike multiple segment labels, single segment labels are placed exactly where you click. Go ahead and zoom into your West Street alignment right around the 120 station. Go ahead and click on the alignment near this station. Be sure to select the line segment and not the station label. Because you clicked a line segment, the label style specified in the line label style list in the add labels dialog box was used. If you had clicked on a curve right over here, the label style would have inherited the curve label style. On the main street alignment, which is the long alignment in the middle of the site, Go ahead and click on the stations between 140 and 160. On the East Street alignment, which is the alignment with the cul-de-sac at the right-hand side of the site, click a location between stations 200 and 220. In the Add Labels dialog box, in the Line Label Style list, Select Bearing Over Distance. Go ahead and click Add. On the Main Street alignment, click on the alignment between the 120 and the 100. A new label displaying the bearing and distance information is created. Let's examine label settings for other objects. 
In the Add Labels dialog box, under Feature, go ahead and select Parcel. This selection changes the label type and style selections that are available. The Add Labels dialog box works in the same manner for all of the feature types shown in the feature list. When you annotate objects in Autodesk Civil 3D, you can switch the type of object you're labeling, as well as the label type and style of the various elements, as needed. Pay attention to the command line as you annotate objects. Some label types, such as span, slope, grade, and depth, annotate a range of data between two points. For example, if you want to label a grade or depth between two points, you must specify those points in the drawing. In the Add Labels dialog box, go ahead and click Close. So that's how you go about manually labeling an object in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.